Hello, I'm here to inform you about the possibility of taking an online course in quantitative morphology built on stereological principles. Here is the lecture schedule for the online course. The first lecture is What is Unbiased Stereology? Probes, Events, and Formulas. Here I discuss the relationship equations between probe interactions and structural features. The second lecture has to do with point counting, which many of you are familiar with, used to make estimates of volume. As it turns out, volume is one of the most fundamental and useful parameters in stereological techniques aimed at estimating total amounts. In the third lecture, I will discuss this, the dissector probe. This is a probe that is a volumetric probe defined by two sections and I will talk about how to subsample histological sections so you don't have to count everything and we will use this in the so-called virtual volumetric probe or the optical dissector. In addition to that I'll introduce one of the fundamental concepts of sampling that is to say that one takes fractions of the tissue, the so-called fractionator sampling. In the fourth lecture, I will discuss the distinction between precision and bias. This is an important distinction. Think of precision as the margin of error on a population estimate, and bias as a systematic deviation away from the true value that cannot be corrected. In the fifth lecture, I will be talking about systematic sampling, why is it important, why it is more efficient and can be used to your advantage in stereological studies. In the sixth lecture, I will be talking about uh, how to make an estimate of the variance of a particular estimation procedure. This is very useful when ultimately designing your study, which we're going to be talking about here in the seventh lecture. And we're talking about how many sections you need, how many probes you need, how big should the probes be, how many individuals you need. And we'll be using this mother of all equations here to design efficient st stereological sampling schemes. In this eighth lecture, I'll be talking about what do you do when you want to start doing a stereological study, and in short, it means becoming familiar with your tissue. In the ninth lecture, I will discuss the use of stereological probes to estimate length. This is the so-called spaceball technique, virtual isotropic probe for estimating length. Here is the relationship equation. The tenth lecture, I'll talk about the local estimators, another world of stereology that we haven't discussed up until now, and which one can make population estimates of object volume, and in which we're going to have to be very familiar with the concept of isotropy and what that means in the stereological context. In the eleventh lecture, I'll be talking about shrinkage and artifacts that can creep into your histological material and affect your ability to carry out stereological studies and affect the outcome of the stereological studies themselves. In the twelfth lecture, I'll be talking about what you should be reporting when you write a stereological paper. One of the things is how you display your data, and the other thing of importance is that one should include a description of the sampling scheme. So, thank you so much. My name is Mark West, and I'm a professor at the University of Aarhus. I've had experience in developing these methods over many years and have taught this course in various venues around the world. I look forward to the possibility of teaching you online. For more information about this course, Quantitative Morphology Using Stereology, contact me at my homepage, www.neurostereology.info, or my email, neurostereology2015 at gmail.com.